So you're getting yourself a website set up for your local business, but how exactly do you structure that website and structure it in a way where the search engine Google is actually going to like it and push it higher up the search results, as well as help push your Google business profile that you eventually connect to that listing. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my simple formula on how I structure websites and I've done it over and over again, and it's helped tons of businesses get pushed towards the top of the search results, get their map listings ranking in the three pack and get them more leads for their business. What's up there guys, Izzy here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping local businesses, contractors, home services, understand this internet thing, search engine and website design to get their business in front of the customers already looking for the services that they provide. In this video, I wanna talk about how to properly structure a website and structure it in a way where the search engine actually likes it and favors your website and helps to push your listing towards the top because eventually you're going to connect that website to your Google business profile and show you a simple process that I follow when I build out every single website that I've built out for tons and tons of different businesses and all kinds of different niches and different industries. Now, I'm not saying this is like the, the absolute best way to do things. This is just what I've been doing. I've been doing it for a long time now, for a lot of years, and I've seen results and I've seen websites quickly go up the rankings, especially in non-competitive markets, and help push these businesses' listings towards the top of the search results just by following a proper structure. And every time I build a website, when I build a website, I do it in a way where it's designed for a human being. I can't emphasize enough. I really strongly believe all this Google stuff, all this SEO, all this crap that's online uh, to try to manipulate this, the algorithm and all kinds of crap like that. I think ultimately what Google's looking for is human reaction and human activity. So if you structure a website that makes it crystal clear to a human being exactly what you do, where you provide those services, it's going to favor your website because your customers are going to know clear as day exactly what you do. So let me share with you guys the formula I use to build out and structure out websites. So if you're out there trying to do one for yourself or you've hired somebody who, who's going to build it out for you, it's a process that can follow and it's going to give you some great results. So let me show you exactly how I do this whole process. So like I mentioned before, the very first thing you have to do is make it crystal clear to your customers exactly what you do, your main service that you provide, and the main location where you provide that service. So for example, I've just recently built some websites. This guy does land clearing in San Luis Obispo County. It's an area where I live. So we made it crystal clear right here. It says land clearing San Luis Obispo. Anybody lands on this website, it's pretty clear what they do. Another guy who does lawn care services in Woodstock, Georgia. Right here, professional lawn care, Woodstock, Georgia. Pretty straightforward, right? And then there's a company out in, in the Chicago area that does home repairs. So home repair in Chicago and the surrounding areas. So that's pretty much how you start the whole thing out. And then you branch off into all the services that you provide. So when somebody hires me out to do these types of websites, I start asking them all the services they provide and we start building out pages according to whatever it is that they do. So let me show you guys my little formula here. So here you go. I start off with the service and the location. This is how the whole structure sets up. This is how I like to visualize it in my head. So the next step, like I said, I asked them, what are some of the services that they provide? I usually start off with six. You could always upgrade and do more. You can do less, whatever it is. But my foundation is just do six, six types of services. So then you add that next to your site. So you have like, for example, I do a lot of asphalt paving contractors. So let's say it's asphalt paving in Paso Robles here where I live. And some of the services that they do is, you know, asphalt driveway installation, past robles, parking lot installation, past robles, asphalt repairs, past robles, asphalt seal coating, past robles, road construction, commercial paving, past robles, line striping in past robles, anything related to the main subject here at the top. So here's some quick examples. So this guy does all kinds of different things, right? So we go in here, he does tree services, excavation services, vineyard maintenance, Weed abatement services, tractor work, forest management, and mastification. I don't even know what the hell that means, but that's what he does. Another guy who does lawn care, he does sod installation, hardscape, mulch, tree service, land clearing, mowing services. So let's take a look. For example, mulch installation. See how it's still the same. Professional mulch installation, Woodstock, Georgia. This guy does 
roof repair, siding repair, wood, wooden doors, gutter repair, outdoor living, property management, all types of things. But again, all of them are structured around the city gutter repair in Chicago. And then naturally, I always add the about and the contact page next. Your contact page and your about page. Now your about page, I just basically talk about, about the company and just let people know who they are, what the services they provide, things like that. And the contact page, nothing too fancy, just a contact page. And the reason I always add these is because over the decades now, Google's looking for an about page and a contact page on every single website. Now, when you build all these pages out, you have to make sure that your homepage links out to each one of these services right here, right here, and right here, and out here, and out here. And then each one of your service pages should link right back to your homepage, every single one. So this creates kind of like a structure that Google will eventually pick up and read. Not only that, again, I structure it for a human being. So let me give you an example of these. So let's take a look at this asphalt paving website. So if you scroll down, you're going to see there's each one of the services, driveway paving, parking lot, new roads. And when you click on it, it goes directly to that specific page, San Jose asphalt paving, San Jose parking lot paving, road paving company in San Jose. And as you scroll through these pages, you're going to see each one of these towards the bottom links right back to the homepage. That's exactly how you should structure it. And then another thing that I really, really recommend people do is have each one of these pages link out to one another, right? So this page could possibly link out to this page. This page could link out to this page. This page links out to this and this and this and this. Anything related to that particular service. So all these pages are linking with one another. So it, cre it creates a, like a some type of cool navigation when a customer's going through it. Again, I build it for customers and Google picks up on all of that stuff. So let me show you an example of this. So this is this mulch installation page. As we, as we scroll through here and read some of the content, you're going to see the link here. And this link goes directly to his lawn maintenance page. Now, as you scroll through his lawn maintenance page, you'll scroll through here and see, you're going to see a link here for edging and trimming services. You click on that and it goes straight to his tree trimming tr services. Uh, so each one of those links is related to another service he provides and all of his pages on his website. Now, after all of that is structured correctly, the next thing I like to do is build out location pages. And usually I just start off with five location pages. Again, you could always do more. And I recommend you always do more, especially if you have multiple, if you live in an area with a lot of smaller cities around your actual location that you service, go ahead and build out each one of those pages. So usually I build in a five location pages and basically all these are, are a mini version of the homepage. So for example, like this guy who does asphalt repairs and maintenance, he's not a paving contractor, he just does repairs and maintenance. So what I did is he does it in Orlando. This is a new site finished not too long ago, Orlando asphalt repair. That's his main keyword. But then when I go out to some of the smaller areas around his town, we got Daytona Beach, Daytona Beach asphalt repair. You see that? So it's a mini version of his homepage. And then we have another one for, I don't even know how to say this town, Kissimmee, 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 Florida asphalt repair. Got another for Sanford, Sanford, Florida asphalt repair. And each one of these pages has unique content, but they're basically a mini version of his homepage. So the whole point of this is that what you're doing is you're creating local relevancy of the services you provide in all of these areas. So when somebody does this search here, eventually with some time of this being online, this guy doing more backlinking and whatever he needs to do to get this thing going. When somebody types this in specifically, this particular page will show up for this location. And again, with the location pages, all I end up doing is all I do is I create a link right back to the home page on each one of those pages. I don't interlink pages with these. I just leave them on their own. The only link back is going back to the home page. And one of the things that I have to emphasize is that every single one of these pages is 100% SEO optimized, which means the title tag is correct. The meta description is correct for the keyword, the H1 title tags, the H2 title tags, the H3 title tags, and all of the content on each one of these pages is related to its specific search term or specific service that they are providing. So this is already up here. You can see it says home repair services in Chicago. The meta description says the same thing. This is the H1 title tag here. 
This is an H2. These are all H3s here. This is another H2, H2, H2. And then the content of the website makes it crystal clear to a human being that this guy does repairs in Chicago. And every single page is SEO optimized. So now at this point, when your website's perfectly structured and designed perfectly, at that point then, you connect it to your Google business profile if you haven't already. So what ends up happening, I theorize, and I really do believe this, that when you hook it up to your Google business profile, what Google ends up doing is reading all of this information, the structure of your website, everything you've articulated on the site, it's relaying all this information to this listing. So if somebody's looking for driveway paving in a specific town, there's a page here that says driveway paving in that specific town, it'll push this listing in front of the customer looking for that service. Because in a way, what I believe is that Google is reading the websites for customers because it, Google wants them to stay on Google's platform, which is the map listing, and use it more and more. But where is Google going to get that information? From the website connected to that listing. So what if you have another business location, which I really recommend if you have, you're have you doing business in a place that's 30, 40 miles away from your original location, what do you do then? How do you connect to this listing? What do you do for this listing? So let me show you exactly what you need to do. So at that point, what you need to do is take one of your location pages. Let's say you have a location in a different town. You pull out that location page and you have it set up like that. And this is the one that you connect to your Google business profile. And eventually what you're going to want to do is build out service pages for this location. So again, let's go back to paving. So let's say this is a paving contractor in Paso Robles. He does driveway paving past robles, parking lot paving past robles, road construction path, right? Now, let's say there's a town over next to me where I live. It's called uh, Templeton, California. So this one would be asphalt paving Templeton, driveway paving Templeton, parking lot paving Templeton, road construction Templeton. And that's how you would structure it. So then you connect this particular page to this business profile. So this is exactly how it should be outlined. You'll have your main homepage your main location with all your services and all that stuff pointing to this business profile. Then this, you pull out this page and make it its own and build up service pages for that one and point it to this listing. So let me show you an example of this. So it's an asphalt paving contractor in Roanoke, Virginia. If you go through his homepage, you scroll down, it's connected to his Google business profiles. This is his main Google business profile. However, he has another Google business profile set up in a town that's like 20, 30 miles away. So what did we do? We pulled out that one service page, uh, Moneta, Virginia, this page right here. And then we're going to build, I haven't done it yet. We're going to build out all the location service pages for that specific town. But then this page is connected to his Whitaker Paving Pros in Moneta. So when you go to this listing and you click on his that listing, you're going to see it goes straight to this particular page. So the structure will look like this. And eventually, if somebody wants to, let's say you do business in another town that's, you know, 60, 70 miles away, that's north of your area. What you end up doing then is you pull out one of these location pages for that area, pull it out, set up another Google business profile, another phone number and all that stuff. And then you have three different Google business profiles set up for three different locations, but to stall this under the same website, under the same umbrella of the main website. This is something that law firms are really, really big on doing. And when it comes to uh, this SEO stuff and website design, you, you better bet that these freaking uh, law firms, they basically don't F around when it comes to, you know, getting their business found online. So there you have it. That's how I structure websites. And I've done it for years now. And it seems to really, really help these businesses to rank their websites higher because I really think Google likes that we are trying to do our best to make our customers happy with when they go out there and look for the service, they navigate through it, they see all the services, they click on it, it goes to one page, you can link back to another, that kind of thing. And if your customers will like your website, Google's going to like your website and push it higher on the search results. And it's part of the reasons I created my template. I did it for me 
So when I build out websites, I have a structure to follow it and make it easy to do. And you can check out that structure and that template and the links below, and you can check that out. You can also check the links below, and I'll show you guys how to do this stuff for yourself if that's something that you're looking to do. And for those of you guys that don't want to do any of this crap, you just want to have somebody do it for you in that same group, you can book a call with me and go over some of the stuff that you would need to get things going for your business and for your website. Now, part of all this stuff is I do recommend uh, businesses that do this to eventually add more service pages, add sub service pages on some of those pages that you have on your website, add more location pages, that sort of thing to compete against some of those competitors in your area that probably have, you know, 50, 60, 70 pages on their website. And there's also ways to create a blog and start creating posts related to your subjects. Some of the services that you provide that link right back to your website. I'll go into all that stuff in another video. And it's all something you need to look into, especially in competitive markets. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've cr created a video so you can see if an area is too competitive for your business. You can check out the video right here. I go into it in some pretty good detail. You can check that out. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.